Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com and your weather authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Wednesday morning forecast update. We do have some frost, very cold morning once again, but today is the day quite literally that we'll see the winds of change blow in as we have a warm front on the way later this morning. And I know a lot of you are happy to see that as that will kind of warm our temperatures as we continue through your New Year's weekend. So we're back in the 60s today. But uh, if you do have any outdoor plans, turning breezy today and it will be a mostly cloudy day as well. So your temperatures here in the 20s and 30s again this morning. It's very cold, very dry at the surface, and we're beginning to see that warmer air make its way in, at least in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And anytime you're talking about a warm front coming in off the Gulf of Mexico, we see an increase in the dew point or basically the humidity as well. And given that we do have some of that moisture coming in over the cold, dry ground this morning, maybe some patchy fog out there. And that's what's leading to a lot of the dew and a lot of the frost as well. So if your car's outside, give yourself a few extra minutes just to defrost it or give the windshield a scrape. But the uh, chance of any rain is fairly low for us today. But that warm will be bringing a surge in cloud cover but we will see some sun this morning and then kind of turning partly cloudy through the afternoon so this change is already in progress you can see the winds have turned to the south here it's that cold north wind that we've had since friday which has been bringing the highs in the uh, 20s 30s and 40s here so we have finally cut off that arctic air and uh, you'll begin to feel that later this morning so you'll need a jacket early but uh, later today we'll wind up in the 60s i would recommend just taking something with long sleeves doesn't have to be a jacket today but if you're out outside uh, again not a ton of sun this afternoon and fairly breezy as well so it's still going to feel like it's on the cool side today and uh, that big warm-up occurring ahead of our next uh, storm system which you can see clearly here digging into the desert southwest so these storms will follow the jet stream lines and you can see those kind of line up to send it into the Arkletex and that will likely occur tomorrow afternoon so uh, as we showed you yesterday there is the potential to see at least maybe one or two strong to severe storms here so the storm prediction center they have us in their marginal risk outlook which uh, again is at the lower end of the scales so that means no widespread severe weather but we could definitely see a storm or two mainly capable of some high wind uh, can't rule out a brief tornado as well but we're not talking about the kind of uh, tornado outbreak that we've seen a couple times over the last few months where we get those big long track tornadoes that's not in the forecast for us but again we could see uh, just a brief spin up tornado at some point uh, later tomorrow so let's go through time let me help you uh, time out the storm here on future casts today will just be a mostly cloudy day i've left any mention of rain out of today's forecast but we may begin to see just a few light showers tonight and tomorrow morning severe threat will uh, begin to ramp up closer to sunset so these would be the storms here that would be capable of those uh, severe weather hazards and you can see most of this will be moving through thursday evening into uh, early friday morning but we should see that severe weather threat i think wind down before the time we get before we get to midnight on Friday, we may uh, very well have a few leftover showers on Friday, but uh, likely going to see some dry weather back half of the day Friday and through your New Year's weekend as well. Uh, this initial push of rain coming in, we could see maybe one to one and a half or two inches of rain. So that's a decent amount of rainfall coming through with uh, one storm system here. And then we've got another one on Monday, uh, which will bring an additional inch or two of rain. So if you add up the rainfall totals through next Tuesday, uh, Weather Prediction Center forecast about two to four inches of rain across much of the region and I do think uh, with the system early next week there's maybe a little higher potential to see some severe weather so that would be uh, during the day on Monday that we could see that potential it's a long ways out for kind of a definitive answer to the timing and threats here but let's just all keep an eye on Monday make sure to check them back for updates on that in the upcoming days and uh, weekend will be great we'll dry out Saturday as well as Sunday so your temperature is in the 70s for uh, New Year's Eve as well as New Year's day quite warm on new year's day there and then as we head into next week there will be a cool down uh, behind the system on monday looking like temperatures will be low to mid 60s for much of next week